L'Hopital's rule is great for evaluating improper limits. It works. At least, it eventually works. Let's think about the what and why associated with this. L'Hopital's rule takes care of some improper limits really, really easily. Consider the two that we looked at at the end of the last chapter. Consider the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x, or the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 minus cosine of x over x. Now, you might have remembered those. You might have memorized those. Let's see how L'Hopital's rule works. Recall that when you have an improper limit, something that evaluates to like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, then what you do to apply L'Hopital's rule is you differentiate the numerator and the denominator, and then you evaluate the limit. So in the two examples that we've looked at, in the first case, sine of x over x, take the derivative of the numerator, you get cosine of x. Take the derivative of the denominator, you get 1. In the other example, what's the derivative of 1 minus cosine of x? It's sine of x. And again, the denominator, the derivative of that is 1. Now, what you do is you simply take the limit. So if you want to know what the limit as x goes to 0 of sine x over x is, it's the same as the limit of cosine of x over 1. That evaluates to 1. Or the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 minus cosine of x over x, that's the same as the limit as x goes to 0 of sine x over 1, that is 0. That's really nice. That's one way to see why these two improper limits have the answers they have. So let's do it again. Let's consider a slightly different improper limit. The limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over sine of x minus 1 over x. This is a classic. It's improper because it gives you something in the form infinity minus infinity, which doesn't really make any sense. So what we're going to do is convert this to a form to which L'Hopital's rule applies. I'm going to put this over a common denominator. That common denominator is x times sine of x. And then the numerator becomes, through cross multiplication, x minus sine of x. Now I can apply L'Hopital's rule to this and take the limit as x goes to 0 of what? If I differentiate that denominator, x times sine of x, then based on the product rule, I get sine of x plus x times cosine of x. In the numerator, the derivative of x minus sine of x is 1 minus cosine of x. Now, all we have to do is evaluate and get the answer. But... That's not going to work so well, because when I try to evaluate this, I get 0 in the numerator and 0 in the denominator. L'Hopital's rule failed. What are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is consider this, again, as an improper limit, and try to apply L'Hopital's rule again. Iterate that. What do we get? When I take the derivative of this denominator, the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. The derivative of x times cosine of x is, let's see, I pick up another cosine, then I have a minus x sine x. I get 2 times cosine of x minus x times sine of x. The derivative of the numerator is much easier. That's simply sine of x. And now, when I evaluate this, the numerator evaluates to 0, but the denominator evaluates to 2. That gives us a sensible and correct answer of 0. So, if at first you don't succeed, do it again. Try it again. This is important. Now, you might conclude from this that eventually you're always going to be successful. I love that optimism. But let's see what happens. Consider the limit as x goes to infinity of Tanch, the hyperbolic tangent of x. Now, I bet we could figure out other ways to evaluate this, but let's use L'Hopital's rule under the working assumption that it works with limits at infinity, which it does. Recall what the definition of hyperbolic tangent is. It's the hyperbolic sine divided by the hyperbolic cosine. This is improper because I've got infinity over infinity, 
but we can apply L'Hopital's rule. Do I know what the derivative of cinch is? Yes, it's cosh. What's the derivative of cosh? Oh, it's cinch. This is so easy. So, applying L'Hopital's rule, I have to now evaluate the limit as x goes to infinity of cosh over cinch. But that's still infinity over infinity. That's still an improper limit. No worries, I'm just going to apply L'Hopital's rule again. This is going to be great. So what do I got? I got the derivative of cosh. Oh, that's cinch. Uh, divided by the derivative of cinch. Oh, that's cosh. And then, oh, wait a minute. I think we're right back to where we started. We are stuck in an infinite loop. If we keep doing L'Hopital's rule over and over again, we're going nowhere. So we've got a couple of questions. First of all, why does L'Hopital's rule work? Why, if it doesn't work the first time, you do it again? And why does it sometimes just not work at all? These are some questions we're going to focus on next.